Hello. And welcome back to Taz Wells 12. You're on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wells 12, and I am the host who is Sarah Wells. Today's video is going to be a, another car boot sale haul. This one has come up very, very late or early within the year, but car boot sales haven't started. I literally done this before Christmas. I will explain that in two minutes. I just want to go through the nitty gritty stuff first and then we will get on into the actual video and I'll explain everything about it. Nitty gritty stuff is if you like the content, the products, any advice I give you, what I've shown you, anything like that in the video, then please do not forget to give it a massive thumbs up because it tells me that you like the videos and it tells me that you definitely want to see a lot more and a lot more can, people can see it, so definitely give it that thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed to Taz Wells 12, my YouTube journey or the little love family, then I'd be more than welcome if you could. And all you could do is literally sign up to YouTube for absolutely free, hit the subscribe button on my main page and then you're subscribed to Taz Wells 12. And if you hit the bell notification button, then you will be notified when a new video has been uploaded. So definitely please could you do that. The video is not sponsored. I do mention any brands. It is not sponsored in any way. It is literally what I found at the Carboo and yeah, I'm not sponsored. Please leave a comment down below if you like the video, the content, if you would have any feedback to give me to improve these videos, so let me know down below and I will 100% like your comment and comment back to you every single time. Please check out my other social medias, which is one on Twitter, two on Instagram. So we have Taswell's 12 is my main account and then you have Taswell's 12 home which is my home account and i started that back in 2021 and i have been posting a little bit more on there so definitely check like follow comment wherever you like to do please that'd be great i think that's everything let's get on into last car boot sale that i did in 2021 As I was explaining at the beginning of the video, these bits are from the last car boot sale I did in 2021. So that would have been literally like the middle of November to the end of November. And that would have been it. Literally, that's it of the season. So you normally go from like April, March to the end of November. But that's very lucky because some of them end like October time. So it depends where you are and where you can get to the latest car boot sale all this stuff came actually from shootash car boot sale i think i've mentioned that before so this is kind of my regular ones so you either get the regular ones in my town which is andover which is the closest to me and then you get some in shootash which is like romsey way if you're in hampshire sort of area the good sort of car boot sales i kind of know and can get to i will try and look for any more but I did, and then the further, and then it just goes. There might be some in Basingstoke and Salisbury, so I might have to check them out like one other weekend and try them as well, depending on what days they are and everything. Like I said, these are all from the like last car boot sale in 2021, and now I will go through all the items. The first item that I'm going to show you is actually something really small, but I really like. So at the moment, I'm really loving anything with marble, like anything literally for the bathroom the kitchen if it maybe the bedroom depending like what it is but i actually spotted these so they're actually in their original packet which i'm kind of a bit sad to chuck away because these are beautiful this is the packaging they came in just this box and they are a salt and pepper marble design so they're literally thick as anything it doesn't even look like they've been used. It's absolutely crazy. When I saw these, I picked them up straight away. They're literally the salt and the pepper and they're quite hefty. And they're like this, honestly, it's beautiful, this marble. I don't know if it's real marble, but these are pretty heavy. Came in this like pot. I don't think, like I said, they have been used. And then on the back, it says they were imported for Woolworths PLC. That is crazy. Like, Woolworths has gone. So they must have bought these, like, way yonks ago. And Woolworths PLC, I actually used to work for. So it's very, very funny that I picked these up. 
I have got a salt and pepper shaker at the moment, like the proper grinder ones that you get from like Aldi that are really, really cheap and they have the salt in them already. But I really, really like these. I was meant to get them out for ages ago because they've got to have a really fine grated like salt and pepper, obviously to get through the holes. I might buy some of that, but if I'm hosting next Christmas because I couldn't host this year, I would definitely be having these on the table because they are pretty like, yeah, I like these. And these were only 50p. Like if you bought these out of a shop, they would be five to 10 pounds, surely. Like if you bought them from like John Lewis or anywhere, even probably from Woolworths, they probably were a fiver. 50p for these, I thought was such a bargain. And I literally spotted them straight away. So that's the first one. I normally don't go to a hub right sale and find people presents or a charity shop, but then sometimes there is that odd little thing that I might find that I might think someone will like that. I think like for 2022, I'm not gonna be a cheapskate, but I think I'm gonna go to car boot sales and then be like, actually that might be good for Christmas or that might be good for a birthday or something like that. Because at the end of the day, none of these items are bad. They've just been bought by someone else and then they've gone on to someone else. At the end of the day, it's recycling, reusing, which is really good and for the environment. I think for 2022, I am going to be a little bit snappy on my money and try to go to a hard boot set and be like, actually, that'd be really good because at Christmas I do hampers. So it'd be really, really good to get like these little, little items or like big items to put in someone's hamper and they're not proper bought. So I am going to try and look out for this year. I wasn't very prepared last year where we moved into this house and then we were trying to sort out for that. But a lot of our furniture in our house actually is second hand. If you want me to do a video on that, I probably will do it at some point. I've just, yeah, we've just been trying a lot at the moment. I've got a video to do about our kitten as well. So yeah, there's just a lot been going on throughout 2021 which is i'm so grateful for but yeah i am gonna get onto the videos a lot more second item gonna want to go on to this is, items must have been from a house clearance because there is a bloke and a woman that sell clothes and house items from like house clearance and sometimes it is pretty much a little bit tat but it kind of like again with car boots you kind of gotta think what do you need what do you want how much you're willing to pay for things or what you're kind of looking to get because a lot of people even my mum and me are like why are you buying all that like seriously like people buy like tons of stuff and pay so much money for it and you think well, why why are you paying all that but anyway there is some good things that you do get and these sort of items all together so basically what they've done on the stool or the place they've sorted out clothes and then they sorted out items so i probably will do them as separate ones because it will be a lot more easier so i'll go through the clothing items first just talking about presents and everything like that i was so surprised to see this because Neil is so hard to buy for and I have said to him about on Facebook market I look out there as well if you want furniture on that great place to look I saw this and I thought it'd be perfect we can wash it it's pretty brand new like it's something that he says he didn't really want but I was like depends how much it is depends what if we go for it or not so it was this liverpool scarf i couldn't believe when we saw this so literally it looks pretty brand new we've washed this because my mum said when she washed it she washed it by hand and she said there was a lot of dirt and everything coming from this so i can imagine but at the end of the day look at it it's come off like if you go on a website if you go on like sports direct or something this is like seven to ten pounds i literally paid a pound for this a pound i think i couldn't believe it because i was like yes i'm doing them a little hamper a little chocolate and man fume and everything like that that means man perfume which i thought that is great dear he will absolutely love this and it's quite good nick and it's it's just good so pound i thought that was great so if you're ever a football supporter definitely look out for car boot sales because there is that time that people do literally 
sell these items. So I could find another one because I'm not quite sure what year this is. I think there's a label. I think this is 2012. So you could have a different one with a different year on it. So definitely keep a check out for this because people will sell it if they don't really want it. And the other bit of clothing I was surprised to see and I'm surprised that no one had picked it up because it's such a good item. And I think it was really in an up time. Like literally I looked at this November. So you think in November, December, I thought, yes, I could wear this literally with like a nice pair of jeans. Literally you could wear a skirt. Literally it was so perfect. And honestly, the like the brand where it's from would definitely be a lot more even in the sale it was we'll do try on clips it was this jumper and i love the design on it so it's literally like this white cable knit cardi and it's got like little sleeves it's got a roll neck i don't normally like a high neck but i thought actually i really like the pattern on it and this is like good for like winter time it can be good for christmas time it could be even good for like before then this was really really good if you ever see an item like this i always check the label in the neck funny enough it didn't have a label right so i was like okay maybe it's just a non-branded one which is fine i would have still had it so then i found a label in the side and then it says this it is a saint michael's from marks and spencer made in the uk and i got it in a size 10. so this is from marks and spencer's and if i bought this from marks and spencer's this would have cost me in sell probably about 15 quid it probably would have cost me brand new like 25 30 maybe even more i was really really impressed with this because I did not expect it to be from Marks and Spencers. I did not expect it to be a brand. And even if it wasn't a brand and it, I still liked it, I've still picked it up. But then the even better thing was because there was no like label on the top, house clearance people, you've got to be a little bit careful because if they see it's a branded sort of make, they kind of charge you a little bit more, which is fair enough. It's their business at the end of the day, but they make loads of money. I'm telling you loads I cannot wait to go to the first loads of car boot sales because they will have all the christmas stuff which is incredible because there'll be some gems there literally people that will not want that there was no label on the top she didn't actually know what make it was she had to look over it but she didn't know and then she said two pounds i was like oh my god two pounds i was like christ yeah i have wore this jumper a few times since then and i absolutely love it it's so warm so if you went on a cold winter's walk or like the bit from january to february this would be absolutely great it's so warm it's so nice and for two pounds you can even beat primark for that that's that's how crazy it is so two pounds for that jumper i was pretty damn amazed I have got joggers on because I'm going to come back and show you the jumper. I have got joggers on, but they're just the easier thing to wear. So I probably would wear this with the joggers, but I probably wouldn't. But this is what the jumper looks from, like from the car boot that's from Marks and Spencer. Look how clean it looks. Like the detail is insane. So beautiful. This is what the high neck looks like. to the home stuff of the home clearance like stall but i bought a load of items together and i'll show you them but i'm going to try and remember the price because i wasn't quite sure what i paid for it if that makes sense this item i got was these and these are you know where you like cook with a little saucepan or a frying pan and you got nowhere to put it like because your hob or your cooker is literally loads of stuff on it. I've got to clean these, by the way, as well. I've been rag. It's what you put on your surface. This is why these got these little feet. So they've got four little feet. These are metal, by the way. The green metal, which kind of goes with our theme. I like that. 
and I like the fact that they're really really small I've seen really big ones before like long ones or anything like that but these are really small so they're easy to put anywhere and put that on your on your work surface so you don't burn it and then put your saucepan or your frying pan on there or anything that you're cooking with or your utensils if they've got like stuff on them just put it on that and then you don't get it messy or you don't burn it your sides I got the two of them because I was literally there and I thought I said to my mum like, I think they're good I think they're cute and uh for a little small size I thought that was like perfect they're like a little butterfly design not the design I would go for but yeah I still think they're really handy we've got some cork ones at the moment we bought from Costco I think it was when we went there like for holiday there's definitely like a vlog or something about it and we went to Costco and we got some like cork ones and there's about six in the packet but I thought these were good just to go with it in case we couldn't find them ones but yeah a little butterflies and then the other item which i thought was absolutely perfect just finding it just before christmas was these. i found this one which this has i don't know if you can see but it has water in it at the top it's lost a little bit of water because it's actually leaking somewhere i don't know what's happened since i've had it it's just started like leaking somewhere I bought these together. This is the only one that had water in it. it. Spins around, it's really pretty and it's different colors. You just put some batteries at the bottom. I don't know if this one's got a plug. And I bought these together and it lights up and it spins around with like glitter stuff in it. And it's really, really pretty, but I've noticed that it's got a leak on it. Um, I just found what the leak is, and funny enough, when I've been talking to you. And then I bought three others. And they are not, they haven't got water in them, they're just spinny and you just put these in there and they just light up and just change colour. So you have like a, probably a same size one of this and then you had a, like a medium one and then a little baby one, it's really cute. These were great. When I saw these, I was like, we are getting these. I love these. Actually, this one has started leaking, but I think we've lost a little bit of water and which is a shame because I don't want to lose like loads and loads of water in this because it will end up just coming out. I don't know what's happened at the end of the day, but like these and them like green things and the four trees were like four pound, which is really, really good. Because I bought these some of these in the Christmas sale. I did, actually, I showed you more on the video, on my last Christmas video. But I bought these out of Dobby's, which was a garden centre and the tallest one because it was broke was like 7.49 and then the same size as this one was like six pound so to get like four trees and the two metal things for like four pound was such a steal yeah i'm so impressed with these and i'm going to fix this one because they do look really pretty when they're spinning around so i don't want to lose i've got quite a bit of water to lose but i don't want to lose any more than i can because i can't refill it hopefully i can fix it and it'll be great i missed one item out and then i thought about it and i was like oh i've got to add that in i haven't added it in any of the old car boots out hall so yeah this is the item and it is this ceramic long plate that looks like sort of a basket theme it's all glazed by the way so this little looks like a basket sort of material doesn't it design and then on it, it's got like little daisies. And then it's got these strawberries. And I thought this was such a pretty design. There's no like make on it. I just liked it and it was really intact. And there was only one. And again, I bought this from a house sales person. It was a different one from all the others. I really liked it. And it was only a pound. I got things like this because I like sometimes in the summer, or even in the winter i like to do like a home afternoon tea with like my mum and my nan and yeah sometimes we do it with like a family and we do it maybe sometimes for like mother's day so these are really handy because we make a load of sandwiches and then we pretty much do this and it's really nice and i really love the design and i also thought it was going to be a gazelle graham with like these little daisies because I bought a jug that's got little daisies on from a car boot sale and that was Gazelle Graham. I'm trying to look for the rest of that theme and 
like set that is one thing i'm starting to look for but i thought if i get like the little jug out and then put it with this it looks literally the same and i love anything with strawberries on it i'm actually looking trying to look for another teapot i'm trying to look for one a Catherine kitten one with a strawberry design or the teapot that's the gazelle grain one which it's got like a little daisy on top and then daisies around it really, really pretty like i will think that i'm gonna find these things but they never happened sometimes but i gotta keep positive i did find the teapot the strawberry one one time but we weren't living here and i just didn't go for it in the end i saw it and i thought no i don't need it i've got one teapot but now thinking like if we have another afternoon tea it'd be good to have like two teapots so my eyes out for next year there was a couple um other ones i saw but wasn't taking my fancy but i love this and it was only quid and thought that was really good for that now i'm going to show you some clothing bits that i got off of one stall so i saw one item first which they're all hung up and they're pretty much washed the only one i didn't wash was this one but i put some febreze on it because it's literally like half um, like a leather material and half a blazer sort of t-shirt material like jumper material this is the first one that i did eye up on there and i was like oh, i've seen them before and i really really do like these I mean, if i do see any more of them this year coming up i'm definitely gonna grab these because i've realized what size i am now and these are really fantastic to wear out like literally anywhere i don't know how old this is as well and um, basically I, I looked at it and I thought, oh my God, I actually really do like that. And it's pretty decent. There's not really marks, that many marks on the leather. I thought that was really good. So you've got both leather on the arms and then you've got like a sort of material on the inner arm, I suppose, so you don't wear it off. But a nice waterfall design on this jacket, which goes around your neck. And I love these. And then I think they're so flattering. And then you've got this nice design where it's like black and white. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I'll have a look. So it actually says design for new look. It says manufacturers of quality garments made with care, put together by us, love to pieces by you. I'm guessing it's new look, but it's a brand that's off a new look because sometimes they do that. And which with new look they're really really good so it had a label down here which says new look it has it up here and it says a size 10 and i was like oh it's a size 10 like i don't know if i was a size 10 or 12 i like sometimes the blazers to be a little bit more tighter and sometimes i like them to be a bit baggier i had to literally just take a gamble on this and then i asked the lady how much it was and she said two pound fifty and i was like for £2.50, I'm definitely going for that because I know this would have been like £15 to £20 in New Look at the time. Probably might have been a little bit more like that because it's more like a coat sort of sort of jumper, cardigan sort of slash piece of item. Size 10, I went for. It fits like a glove. So if I ever see any like these, even if it's the same design, I'm going to pick it up depending on the price because obviously if it's ridiculous price, then I won't go for it. But... If it's really cheap and it's the same design even or a different design i'm definitely picking it up it might be a, that might be a bit obsessive or like cluttering or gathering items that i don't need but these fit like gloves so i would so be disappointed if this won't because i wore this twice already and it's amazing this jacket is so flattering absolutely love this so if i see that one of these again at a car boot sale i will be buying you've got like the nice detail on the front it literally just comes down like this this is just with like a vesty top underneath so this is the arms beautiful beautiful jacket of items are two blazers funny enough i then was talking to my mum about the black one 
and I was then she was the lady was like do you have a look in the suitcase because the suitcase are like full of clothes she was like there's some more clothes in there definitely have a look definitely have a look around I was like I paid for one but I thought okay I'll have a look she said there's some blazers in there okay fair enough I'll have a look because blazers are always great to get a car boot sale because they are damn expensive like there's blazers going for 30 40 maybe even 50 60 pound so depending where you're getting it from and designer and whatever else is ridiculous so to get blazers that are cheaper that you kind of like wear at the moment i wear them with everything so if i'm going out for a meal i'm going out with friends cocktails maybe to a wedding like literally loads of places you can wear them Let's look out for blazers two blazers are on the coat hanger but i'll go for the first one so this first one these are both linen by the way so linen is sort of like a more of a thinner fabric which is quite good at the end of the day i will probably take this one off actually because it's gonna be easier i washed these by the way because i've washed them and ironed them because they were a little bit smelly but that's you don't know how long they've been in a box in someone's house or some like a bag or anything yeah this is the first one and it's just this blazer like this and i love the color of it like funny enough i was trying to look for a blazer like this for a wedding i had recently and i thought oh my god a light blazer would be absolutely great i wear on my dark green one that i got from h&m and i absolutely love it but it was damn expensive but i thought if i had a like a lighter one that day it would have been great but i didn't unfortunately because i'm not into whites like really white but i'll show you in a minute what the other one's like so this is just this blazer and it's got like buttons on the arms it's just got some pockets which i think are fake yeah they're fake and then it's just got like i think it's only got one button yeah it has it's only got one button which is fair enough because i don't do these up anyway and then inside it's got this like satin lining shiny liner then inside it has got a size medium it's very hard to show you and then there's a make there and the make is i don't know why it's upside down hilton wiener so h-i-l-t-o-n and then w-e-i-n-e-r i'll have to look that up because i've not looked at that up at all and i'll place the little bits of in between what i'm saying and that so there's another label down here and it says do not wash do not iron do not bleach dry clean only and that's basically what it says it says that but i did it so basically i didn't put these in the washing machine i hand wash these just with like a bit of hand wash and a bit of conditioner not too much because i do hand wash quite a few of my clothes because i've noticed the colors either come out they shrink or something like that so i will hand wash them so i hand wash them and i did iron them but a very light iron but i still ironed it why would you not iron a blazer like if you wore this out and then put it on the back of your chair or something like, for the night it would get creased i definitely definitely ironed it so that's that one first and like i said i will do a clip on and i will check out what the label is this is the darker blazer look how nice this is i know this is just for joggers but if you think i had like black trousers on then this a baby then that black top or a white top or cream top this is going to look so nice i love this it's a little bit oversized which i love it i wouldn't ever do it up and never do my blazers up but it's so comfortable and so nice the next one you know when i was saying about that i didn't i didn't like a proper white white bright white but i saw this one so this is more like an off-white or a cream 
pretty much sort of them colours. The other one that she had, and I thought, oh, that one's quite nice as well. And I said to my mum, what, do I get one or do I get both? And that's actually, you know what, I'm going to get both. Because she was like, oh, they're only like two for a fiver. And then my mum said, do you want to get, can we have two for four pound? She was like, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So we paid four pound for two blazers, which was amazing. So that makes them two pound each. This is what I'm saying. Like sometimes secondhand clothes are not always wrong and not like literally if you bought this in a shop again it would have cost you so much it's actually got two buttons it's got pockets but they're fake again it's just this uh, linen it's got like buttons on yeah it's definitely clean because i washed them and it's just got these like like nice neck and it's got some darts in the back like to tuck it in like very seamlessly on the sides absolutely great bargain again it has got it's an irish linen and it's called tabot petite and it is a size 10 and it says made in thailand um i don't think is there any other labels oh there's another label by clean only Again, I wash this by hand. I ironed it very quickly. I don't mind a little bit of creasing. You can see tiny bits of creasing. It's probably because of the fact that I've been in my wardrobe. But if I wore this out, if I was going to wear this out, see that bit there, I would probably iron that bit again. So I don't over iron my blazers. I just go over them very, very quickly. But you can do it yourself. It looks fine. Would I pay a dry cleaners when the items I can wash myself. Two blazers, the last two were two for four pounds, which is great. And they're really easy colors. Like this can go with blue jeans, black jeans, lovely, great. This is the creamier one. This is a little bit more bigger than the darker one, but still really really nice blazer again if you wore it with i probably wouldn't wear like white with cream i probably would have wear a dark top with like dark trousers but again still a lovely blazer still really comfortable The last item that I'm going to show you is very fitting for Christmas again. I found quite a few Christmas items and it's these car boots out, which was absolutely great. And I found them. It is, oh my God, it's cute, isn't it? I don't like obsessing and buying teddies like these guys in the back here. That one's a good luck bear. I got him from a car boot sale. He's in one of my hauls. This bunny... I've had since a baby, literally, I could not get rid of that, so I've kept that. And then this little flamingo is actually one that you can put that Neil got me and it was from Aldi and you can put it in the microwave and it'll warm up. So even though you see a lot of teddies, these do all mean something like I love a bit of good luck from a baby and that was a present and it's actually functional and <laughs> you can use it. But they're just on their display. I think this cute look at that like i saw these and i thought they were just cute right and they were literally with all the kitty stuff on the floor and i was like oh my god like i love things like this at christmas i think it's so so cute i was just like looking at it and there was another like one there was two of them and i was like oh they're the same and then my mum's like no they're not they're not do you remember that advert like which was john lewis so these would have been expensive. There was a Christmas advert with these penguins on it. So his name is Monty, like that. And basically the advert, and I've had to watch it again because I was like, oh my God, they are, they're from the advert. And I knew you are from, but I couldn't remember the name of the advert. So when we got these, I had to watch it because my mum had the girl one. I can't remember that name. So we bought both of them. I will tell you in a minute how much it was. When we got back home, 
literally we watched the other and it's so cute so monty's on his own and basically he's a penguin so he wants to find his life partner and then he finds a life partner and it's just so so cute the other just beautiful ever um probably one of the best ones they done literally these we thought these were cute and we asked the lady when we were like how much are these and we thought we were gonna say like a couple of quid she was like oh they're only 50p i was like oh my god so my mum was like right let's buy both of them so i said that i would have the little boy one because i so my cat is a little boy i and literally my mum then had the girl penguin so i was like and then you've got one my mum's like well maybe they're supposed to be together because of the other and i was like no because i didn't feel fair because we both like them so i thought it was nice to us both have one each so yeah they're always connected because my mum's got one and then i've got one but for 50p each i think that's incredible because i know that these would have out of john lewis would have probably cost a little bit of money and i might even do some research to see how much people are selling these for or what they were originally priced for because yeah he was probably about 15 to 20 pound out of john lewis that's just a guess but I think that's how much he originally would have been. Unfortunately, this has come to the end of the last car boot sale that I went to or haul of 2021. I hopefully am going to go to 2022 car boot sales. They in our area of like Andover, which is the nearest to me, they start in about March, April time. So I will definitely be trying to go to the first ones because like I said, there is gonna be some gems there, some gems because people will want to get rid of stuff. And sometimes at car boot sale, you can get really good money for value. So definitely I'm gonna go to them ones. I might even vlog or i'll try and probably do a little bit of vlogging and a haul afterwards depending what i find if that makes sense because car boot sale it's like shopping you can never know what you're gonna find but yeah just bear with me but if you did like the video and you did like the content or the products i did or the advice i give you or the places that you might visit if you're near to the hampshire area then definitely please do not forget to give it a massive thumbs up and more of these videos will be coming in new new year like just a later on but yeah definitely give it a thumbs up because it tells me they like it please come and join taswell's 12 my youtube journey because it would be absolutely mean the world to me because i love when i see a new subscriber joining and then they comment in and i comment back and we can have a little conversation i absolutely love it so do not forget to subscribe button and come subscribe to me and then the bell notification will tell you when a new video is uploaded and let other people know that you'll watch my videos because i have absolutely done loads i've done car boot sale ones i've done makeup ones where we moved in this house furniture ones i've got a couple more furniture one coming and i can do like each room tour if you want because a lot of the items i've either upcycled or we got off of really cheap basically or we got them at a bargain price so i can either do that comment down below that'd be absolutely great i'll let you comment and comment back to you every single time the video's not sponsored out of any of the brands i did mention i just want to say that because i don't want to get in trouble but yeah they weren't i wasn't su supported and i wasn't sponsored on my other social medias which is one on twitter two on instagram check like follow comment whatever you like to do please that would be fabulous. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting. Have a lovely day or a lovely evening and I will see you soon guys. Bye.